All right, so first entry of this tries SSR video vlog project. So my book is The Bone Setter's Daughter by Amy Tan. Um, being the first entry, I'm not super far into it, but I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, so we have the two main characters, a Chinese woman named Lu Ling and then her daughter, Ruth. Um, the book opens with Lu Ling being about six years old, I believe, in China, and just like a normal sort of day for her. Um, it's a really interesting insight for readers to kind of see how she grew up. Um, and it's honestly very helpful context um, because it kind of explains later like how, not explains, but like helps the readers understand how like the way Lu Ling and Ruth interact with each other, like it makes sense. Like just kind of the different like culture then a, like a lot of like me i mean i can speak for myself like how i grew up it's very different so it helps to have that context to see how they interact um so after that like little story the book moves into part one so ruth is living in california as is luling at this point um Ruth is probably in her, I don't know, mid to late 30s, early 40s. The book doesn't specify, but she's definitely like an adult, a grown woman. Like she can take care of herself, makes her own money. Um, she's working as a ghost writer. Um, she more explains it as like a book doctor. Um, she takes in like what authors are wanting to say and what they're wanting to write and makes them sound more like eloquent and to the point. Um, but she's good at her job, she has clients, she's been, she has helped write like, I think it's at over 35, 40 books, something like that, so she's obviously pretty successful. Um, she's living with her boyfriend Art and his two daughters, um, Sophia and Dory. Art is emotionally manipulative and quite toxic, um, but <laughs> Ruth is having a hard time acknowledging that because he was so sweet to her at the beginning of their relationship, and I think that really points to Ruth's, like, needing to be a people pleaser. Like, she doesn't want, she never wants to try and start an argument because she's been described as, like, difficult and, like, making things more complicated than they need to be in a past relationship that she had. Um, so she tries to never get angry, but that leads her to bottle up her emotions a lot, which is super unhealthy, and Art is very obviously taking advantage of that. Um, Ruth is also a people pleaser in her job as well. She's willing to go the extra mile or extra hundred miles for her clients, um, even when it puts her in a stressful, you know, time crunch situation. Um, so yeah, towards the end, I'm, I finished chapter two, that was about 60 pages in, it's about the fifth way mark. Um, we see that Lu Lang's memory is starting to crumble a bit, it's not working as well, like she's jumbling up her words a bit. Um, she has like a bunch of magazine subscriptions, she thinks that she won like 10 million dollars from a sweepstakes thing, which is not normal for Lu Ling, according to Ruth. So Ruth is a bit concerned for her mother, but she doesn't quite want to acknowledge just how dire the situation is. Um, when I finished, they were about to go to a doctor's appointment just for a routine checkup, but also Ruth was planning on talking to the doctor just so that, you know, he could kind of see, like do a general, you know, check up on her mind to see if you know something serious is going on so I would not be surprised if that um, is a major 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 part in the rest of the book like dealing with Lu Ling's declining memory and Ruth having to deal with not only a stressful like home life with her personal relationships and her job and now also having to take care of her um, sick mother so that is going to very much lead to some stress later on, which is one of the major themes I've noticed so far, which is like mother-daughter relationships, um, which is a good refresher and kind of ties in nicely to a book that I read last try, The Road, that was more about like father-son relationships and like their 
dependency on each other and like how they need each other to survive. Whereas in the bone setter's daughter, the mother daughter relationship, um, it's more subtle than that. The like, obviously the culture that they grew up in, it's like not super loving and affectionate. So seeing them now have to, like Luling having to rely on Ruth, even though she very much does not want to, um, it's an interesting dynamic. So I'm very curious to see how that theme progresses and um, impacts the rest of the plot. So yeah, we'll see where it takes us, but I'm enjoying it and I have high hopes and some suspicions. So yeah, we'll see if I'm correct.